greenhouses, my underground greenhouses. I make them in uh, what I call bays of three by three, just in case I want to use saltpeter, and that's the most efficient way to do it. So here I have uh, a space down underground that just so happens to be uh, six wide and three high. So each bay needs to be three wide, three up plus one down, and a minimum of three deep. I usually add a fourth for uh, uh, movement reasons. Um, so I'll dig out. So we have a three by three by four high. First step once it's all dug out is to fill the bottom with water. Okay, then the next step is simply take your dirt or compost if you have it and outline around the edges above the water like so. So there's two blocks above the dirt. I take slabs, I'll explain why, put between those and across the front. All you need for each bay is a single torch placed in the center. That'll give sufficient light to all the blocks. Now the reason I use a slab like this is because if you jump next to a block, you can destroy the fertilizer. You can destroy the soil on that block. However, if the player is confined into a tight space by slabs, So, then he cannot jump. Walk up, try jumping. You cannot jump next to the blocks when you're squished like this. And honestly, that's all there is to it. Um, now I can plant on this. And it should grow at 100%. The only additional risk is if a uh, random animal spawns in here, they have no problem walking all over your, your farm and destroying it. So what I like to do for that is, I should have had this. What I like to do for that is to put a clear wall in front. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and make it too big. I can put the wall up now. The window wall. But I'm going to leave this one. Side there. Yes, there is still a uh, small chance they will actually spawn on top of the dirt, but I found that's re really rare. Okay, 
I'm going to do it in a second. Something I, I will do too at times. Go ahead and do it now just because. Here's a problem. Be careful not to uh, not to lock yourself in. As long as you step on the slab and out of the top at the same time, or go under the reduced top first, you're cool. reason I have the front row is to make it easy to gather more water. I need water to process some the rye. So this is done. This is actually a working greenhouse right now. Just fine. All the needs are met. Um, one refinement I like to do because there's often crafting needs for the foods instead of the bottom glass. I have a few crafting tables in there because I'll usually, like, once this side will be for processing rye, so one crafting table will be dedicated to making the flour and the seeds, and the other table may be dedicated to crafting the dough from the flour. That way, I can leave the leftover seeds in the crafting table. Don't have to take them out to do something else. And on the other side, I usually use this for cotton and similar things. Put the cotton balls to make the fabric in one side on one table, and then use the other table to craft whatever I want from that cotton. Uh, sometimes I'll even, if I plan on Doing pumpkins, I'll use one of the existing crafting tables for uh, to store the pumpkin seeds. But because I don't like wasting all that space on the rotten pumpkins, but I like to keep them. Crafting table down there, and that's where my rotten pumpkins go. It's just dedicated to that. And I can put the door on the outside. Now I've got a full growing and crafting greenhouse area. Very simple. Thank you for watching.